Hey, welcome back, Tyler Theater Design Company. So example number three of a Eero wiring diagram. This is gonna be kind of a wireless slash wire diagram and I'm gonna show you why I'm using that kind of terminology. And so again, if you've watched any of these videos, I've got an example one that goes over the ISP and the RS modem. Also explaining that you don't have to have a cable modem. You could use you know, T-Mobile, fiber, whatever you wanna use for that. You gotta have an internet service provider, obviously. So again, same flow here. We're gonna go, you know, cable modem in, and then we're gonna use wide area connection out. We're gonna run down into a uh, Eero Pro 6. And again, I recommend just kind of watching example one, example two. Um, this one here is gonna be a similar price point as the example number two, whereas example number one is gonna be your highest end price point. The big difference on this one is we're not using any wired access points um, other than maybe what I'm kind of doing is kind of a wired bridge but that's really not the right terminology we're just wiring a second Eero Pro 6 over to where maybe you have an office or a switch so let me go over the flow so that makes sense basically you got wide area connection it's going to come out cat 6 it's going to go into an Eero Pro 6e and uh, go into the 2.5 gigabit port now this Eero Pro 6E is your gateway. So this is your gateway router and it's the only one that you're gonna set up as an Eero gateway router. Everything else you see on this diagram where it says wireless with plug-in power, those are gonna be Pro 6s. Um, the wired Pro 6E here that you see that's got a wired connection and then runs over the gigabit switch, that again is an access point. So the flow starting at the cable modem. You run down into the Pro 6E, 2.5 gigabit port, set that up as your Eero Pro 6 gateway, do your firmware updates, do all that good stuff. And then at this point, you can walk around the home and set your Pro 6 E's in each room. Those are gonna be plug-in power. You're gonna adopt those to the Eero system and you're set up and you have internet. Now in the second part of the scenario, say you have an office or you have a remote area, maybe even have a barn or a different shed that just so happens to have a cat 6 or a cat 5e running from where your pro 6e resides you can now wire a second pro 6e and then you can run that out into a gigabit switch another really good example of this is where maybe we've had a custom home that had a you know data center or maybe it had a smart panel and so you got the cable modem in there you got your aerial pro pro 6 in there um, however, you've got an equipment room, like a media room or a theater room somewhere else in the house that also has a CAT6 running back to that equipment room. What you can do at that point is you could run a wired Pro 6E, use that as your access point, and then you could also wire that into a switch to do your wired devices. Is you can take any of these Eero plug-in powers and you can run a cat six out of that into a switch it doesn't have to be wired from your gateway it's still going to do it now it isn't going to be as fast a connection but it is going to act as if it's a hardwired connection to your devices i have this scenario in several homes where samsung wireless connections don't work well um, from their normal samsung tv wireless to the pro six we've actually put like a pro five or a basic pro six behind the samsung tv wired that into the network connection the TV thinks it's wired and you're off to the races with a solid connection. It's really reliable. Samsung's known to be uh, have some wireless issues with a lot of their TVs, so doing that solves the issue. We'll probably do an example four on that to explain because it's kind of convoluted talking here and showing this diagram. But again, this is a solid diagram in the way this works and good. Keep in mind that this wired Pro 6 could go to an equipment rack, like a media center, a media room, and then end up wiring your devices in. So I hope this helped you out. Again, watch example one, watch example two, and then hopefully this example number three worked for you. We're calling this our wireless slash wired access point diagram. Thanks a lot.